Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Galaxy Games. So in the last video, we went to the arcade, pinball, and coin-op auction in North Carolina. And this was one of the things we brought home. We brought home a seven-head vending machine. Toy vending machine, candy vending machine, whatever you want to call it. It's got the 50-cent capsule vending heads at the top and the 25-cent uh, smaller toy or candy uh, vending heads at the bottom. And when you get uh, games or things like this at the auction, generally they don't come with keys. So I actually um, already opened up the first head right here, um, and in this one we found $5. So we found $5 in that one. So I figure, you know what, this will probably make a good video. Let's, uh, let's open the rest of them together and let's see what we can find. Um, these ones are going to be pretty easy. These, uh, these, these 50 cent capsule ones up here, they've got these double bitted locks here, so those might be a little bit more challenging. Um, I'm going to think about other solutions, right now I'm just going to focus on these smaller head machines. So um, we got three more open right here, two and three, uh, so we're going to focus on those next. All right, so here we are, so we've got, uh, we're, we're going to start with this bouncy ball um, one next, and what I have is I have a very, very small drill bits, and I've got it marked as a quarter inch, because what we don't want to do, let me show you this, let me pull the head off this here, what we don't want to do is damage this metal rod right here, um, because that's what the new lock will have to attach to. So on this next one, we're just going to drill down a quarter of an inch and try to pop that lock out. So let's do this. Let's move this back over here. We'll start with our first, this is a very small pile of hole, we're going to go right down the center. All right, we just want to go right down. I've got that, that tape marked at a quarter inch so I know how far to drill. So now I'm going to switch over to a little bit bigger drill bit. We went with a smaller one. Now we're just going to go a little bit bigger. All right, so we're going to go and drill this one out next. Already that thing's weakening. You can feel it moving as the drill bit goes through it. So now we're going to go to an even bigger one. This one's, uh, I don't know, a little less than a quarter of an inch. This one is what popped the last one, so let's see if we can get this to work here. There we go. All right. So you see the lock lifted up. Let's see if we can't just pop that out of there. Let me grab a screwdriver. All right, so now the top of the lock is out, but we still have the bottom shaft to deal with. It's in there, not, not the one that the lock attaches to. As you can see, there's still a piece of the lock here. Um, that is gonna look like, it's gonna look like this here. So that's sitting in there like this. And what we need to do is unscrew it off of that metal rod. So we're gonna do that next. I'm gonna grab a pair of needle nose pliers. Get these out of the way. And I'm just gonna go in here. I'm gonna grab it with my needle nose and just unscrew it. If it'll let me, let's see. It's gonna be a little challenging. Of course, the first one was easy, that's why I was like, yeah, oh, let's, let's record this. This one isn't going to give us as much give. This one gave me a little run for my money, I'm not going to lie, this one's been challenging. And you're going to have that sometimes when you deal with these kind of things. These, uh, these machines are made to stop people from uh, breaking into them and taking the money. So sometimes it's going to be challenging to get that money out or to get into a machine when you don't have a key. In this case, it's okay, though, because we bought this machine. And I'm still working to get this thing out of here. It really wants to hold on for dear life. I 
I hope, I hope there's a lot of quarters in this one with how struggling this one's being. There we go. All right, we got that out. Lid comes off. Let me throw this piece out of the way. And let's see if there's any quarters inside. So we're gonna lift this up. Oh, there's some quarters in there. Let's take a look at that, guys. There might be more than $5 in this one. Let's pull it out and let's see what happens. It's always cool to get some quarters back out of a machine you bought. It's like a refund, you know? And this one's got quite a few in it. I guess the bounty balls must do well on location. And yeah, I could I could just pull this whole thing out. Let's just, let's just, let's just pull this whole thing out. And we'll just put the quarters right into the hands there. Set this back down here. Where's the straw? There we go. This flat popped off too, so let's put that back on. All right, so let's see. So out of this bouncy ball machine, we have almost a whole roll of quarters there. I'd say it's probably about you know, seven or eight dollars. So let's see, we got One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven seventy five. All right, so so far we've made twelve dollars and seventy five cents on this uh, on this machine just uh for a refund in quarters. So I'm gonna stack these up over here with the other ones, and then we'll get going on the next two. All right, here goes machine number three. Now notice the capsules inside are pretty low. It looks like it's some sort of little treasure, pirate's treasure thing, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens, but uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna try this lock next. So we're gonna go back to our real skinny drill bit and go right down the center here. We got a quarter inch on that one. Let's move to our middle size bit next. My bits are wearing down. <laughs> it's getting more and more difficult to drill. And finally, number three. Let's see if this one pops it just like the last ones. There we go, popped it right just like that. See that? Came right off, still stuck on the drill bit. All right. Let's see if this one is not going to be as difficult unscrewing it as the last one. It's tough to find a point just to grab onto it. But let's see. Yep, this is going to be difficult too. All right, I'm going to vacuum out that hole so we can get a better... Uh,
right, so as you can see now, it's got that, it's like a brass fitting that goes on top of that threaded rod in there. So we're trying to just twist that out. We're using our needle nose and it's, of course it wants to give us a hard time. So we're just gonna continue that, that focus right here. The last one I had a little luck by drilling it down even further and then giving it more something to grab onto. So we may have to do that on this one too. So right now there's just not enough to grab onto and make a good solid bite. All right, we're gonna do that again. Let's drill a little further. Now remember, we don't want to go too far because we don't want to damage that threaded rod below. And I should probably vacuum it out again. That way we're not getting all those metal shavings caught up. I'm just gonna work on this for a little while now. So all I'm doing is I'm just using these needle nose just to twist this piece out. Cause think of it, what it is, it's the bottom of the lock and with the key in, it just twists off that threaded rod that's inside. There we go. Came out, set that aside. Let's pull the top off. What are these things? Treasure chest. It's got like little gold jewelry and this, this display has seen better days, that's for sure. Let's, let's see what's actually in these. Looks like, looks like little tattoos. Let's see. It's a crab tattoo. <laughs> So that's what kids want. They want the crab tattoo, right? How funny is that? All right, let's pull this one out. And it looks like there's some quarters in there. Let's have a look. Ooh, that might even be more than the last one. I guess we're having a pretty good day when it comes to uh, finding money in these machines, huh? All right, so let's just pull that out. We'll just pull the whole unit out instead of just digging each one out by hand. So we got another handful of quarters, and we're gonna count this up here. We'll do it right on top of the uh, one next to it here. Oh, and I'm throwing money. We'll get that one in just a second. There's two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, plus the quarter I dropped, so that's 825. So uh, <laughs> we're getting a nice little refund here, guys. All right, let me get this cleaned up and we'll move on to that last one. It's completely empty, uh, but who knows if it's, got, if it's got quarters in it. We're gonna find out in just a minute. So let me get cleaned up and get this back together and we'll be right back. All right, so so far we're three for three on these uh, quarter vending machines here, and we're about to open up the fourth one. And we're gonna see if we can strike it rich. This one's completely empty, so maybe it's 100% full of quarters. Who knows, we're about to find out. So just like the last ones, we're gonna start with a single pilot hole right here. Yeah, this bit is definitely getting worn out. Right, 
think that's going to be it for that bit. Let's move up to our middle bit next. This one should do the majority of the grinding here. that third larger bit now. There we go. Popped up. So we got that piece out. And we have our same metal piece in there. See that in there? So we're going to try and twist that out. You know, it's funny, the very first one that I did off camera was very easy to twist out. Of course, the rest of these have to be difficult, right? That's just how it goes, because we're recording. We're going to need to drill that a little bit further. Maybe we can get a bite in the middle. Let's, let's try to drill this out a little bit. All right, and just like last time, we're going to hit that with the vacuum here. indent we can just kind of grab and twist and see if that works and I just broke that piece let's hope we don't do that again okay we got it we got it to start moving here so let's take it the rest of the way now that we're on camera Now we've successfully gotten into the four small vending machines. This one has nothing in it, but it looks like they were selling some sort of like candy. Everybody likes the candy, right? So I'll put that back in there. Pull this out. Oh, I see some quarters. Doesn't look like as many as the last ones. See those quarters in there? So another, another we're four for four on finding money. So once again, not as much in this one, but, but there's still money. Let's take a look at that. Let's count it up. All right, so let's, let's put this back together real quick. Just so I'm not losing parts or breaking things. Because if you're anything like me, we, we have a tendency to do that kind of stuff. surface to count this handful of quarters. Now this one, like I said, doesn't seem like as much. Maybe, I don't know, maybe four or five dollars. There's one, two, 
three, four, five, and 75 cents. So 575, so actually not our worst one. Um, the monkeying around toys were our worst one. Um, yeah, so now the question is, do we really want to try and drill these out? These are higher security locks, obviously. Um, we may uh, we may take our chances with these. I'm gonna get set up and we'll, we'll figure out what's next. So, be right back. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of dreading this. These look like they're double-bitted locks, so they're gonna be a little more challenging than the last ones. Um, man, I wish I had the keys for this. <laughs> Uh, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna start with the middle one because if I damage this this machine beyond being able to be used, I could probably put something else in the middle and now we have the, the ends still look original. Uh, so we're gonna start with the middle one and we're gonna see what happens. So just like last time we're gonna start with our smaller drill bit and we're just gonna get a nice pilot going. And of course it's already gonna be difficult. Let's go with our nicer drill bits. So this one just doesn't want to cut it. Alright, a little thicker one. Lock is already giving me problems. <laughs> and there you go. That happens a lot more than I'd like to admit. Uh, did it break off inside? I don't think it broke off inside. Luckily, I think it fell. So when it breaks off inside, that can be a real challenging problem then. So let's see. Look at that lock just chewing up my bit. Chewing up my bit. All right. That bit is now trash. Let's try something a little more sturdy. Try a little more powerful drill. Let me go. Let me get set up an electric drill, not this battery powered thing. I'll be right back. All right. Sorry if this one's a little bit louder. This is a, an electric, 120 volt powered drill. So this one might be a little bit loud. If it gets loud and I'm working on this, I'll probably speed it up and maybe play some music or something. But here we go. Let's see what we can do. Lots are tough. <laughs> All right, guys, after that took forever, we finally got the lock to pop and my, my drill bit stuck in there. So let's do, see how we got it to finally pop over here. There we go, there we go. All right, we got the top off, we got this open. Look at that. Oh, and there's even more inside too. There's even more in here. There's some dimes and pennies. How does that happen? 
All right, look at that. Very cool, very cool. All right, <laughs> so it's gonna be a while before I open the other two, but check that out. Look at all those, uh, look at all those quarters. That's gonna be the best haul yet. I mean, there are just quite a few. So we'll count these up here, just like before. One. Actually, you guys don't wanna watch me count this up. I'll, uh, I'll come back once I get all the piles counted up. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. So this one had, this one had 1325 plus a nickel and three pennies. So 1333, I guess we'll say. Um, yeah, there we go. So, so far we're having a pretty good day. Um, it's gonna take a little while to drill these other locks. So what I will do is I will once again, stop the camera. Uh, I'll work on uh, probably this one next or this one, who knows. Um, and then I'll come back once I get it popped. So again, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Um, have some broken drill bits as you can see here, but that is standard when it comes to opening these machines. Got this one open. Where I'm gonna open it. I haven't even looked in it yet, so I'm gonna open it. We're gonna reveal that one together. And that one has some quarters in there. Oh, look. Here's one of my drill bits that broke off in there. There we go. There's, there's the back of the lock. And uh, quite a bit of quarters in there, not too bad. Let's see if there's any inside. I don't see any inside there. So pretty cool. So we're into six of the seven compartments. This is the only one that's not open yet. And hopefully we'll get that one open by the end of this video. I'm gonna add this to the, uh, to the oh, look, there's more drill bit. <laughs> I broke a lot of drill bits doing this, but we're gonna add this to the mix and then we'll get this next one open in just a few minutes. <laughs> all right, guys, we are back. And I have literally spent all day on this last machine here. Uh, <laughs> it's been such a pain. So uh, I haven't opened it yet, obviously, because it's still, the lock's out, but it's still a little tight because I've been working on it literally all day. So let's see if we can't pop this thing open. There we go. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. So there's like a dollar in that one. A dollar in quarter, all that work and there was only a dollar in that one. Oh, let's see what else. It's a random bolt. A couple of pennies in here. Is there anything else in there? No, I think we got everything in there. All right. So, we'll pull this dollar out. We'll add it to our pile over here. We'll pull these two pennies out. Add those to our bonus. Look at this lock. This lock literally took me all day. I even went, I even drilled through it and the screw didn't come out. Oh, what a pain that was. All right. So now that we have the machine completely open, let's get a money count. So let's move over here and I've got everything all set up here. So as you can see, we got lots of quarters. Um, Fifty-one quarter, fifty-one dollars and quarters, plus an extra ten cents. So fifty-one ten is what we pulled out of this thing today. So overall, not too bad. It's a nice little refund. Um, so I just wanted to share kind of uh, the struggles of getting into one of these machines to see how much money's inside. It literally took me all day, um, but. You know, you, you saw at first it was, it was kind of cool. We, we were getting through these bottom ones pretty quickly, but the top ones, my goodness, they were quite the pain. So I just wanted to share. Um, while we're here, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Um, we're gonna try and start releasing more videos. Uh, if there's something you wanna see, comment down below and tell us what you wanna see. Um, my garage right now is a wreck. As you can see, I've got arcade projects over there. Arcade projects over here. We just we got stuff everywhere. That auction, I was I was getting the garage cleaned out. And that auction just filled it right back up, and that's usually how it goes. So guys, tell me what you want to see. Put some comments down below, and we'll see if we can't get some uh, some uh, good videos going for you. 
So until then, guys, it's Matt from Galaxy Games saying, I'll see you next time.